This is Mr. O, and this is Dork Diaries. This is Dork Diaries, tales from a not-so-fabulous life. It was written and illustrated by Rachel Rene Russell and published by Aladdin in 2009. It is about Nikki Maxwell, an 8th grader, which makes her about 13 or 14 years old, who lives with her mum and dad and little sister Brianna, who is scared of the tooth fairy. Every day, Nikki goes to her new private school, Westchester Country Day Middle School, and tries to get along with the CCP, the cute, cool and popular people. Nikki loves drawing lip gloss and, as it turns out, Brandon Roberts, who sits in front of her in biology class. She doesn't like Mackenzie Hollister, who seems to be the cutest, coolest and most popular girl in school. One day, Nikki enters an art competition and finds herself competing against Mackenzie for more than just the big prize. Can Nikki survive her first year at Westchester and change from an art dork into an art diva? Read Dork Diaries to find out. I really, really, really liked Dork Diaries. It's the second sort of tween age girly book that I've really, really liked. And in fact, I'm starting to think that maybe underneath, I actually am a teenage girl. Girl power, friend power, yeah! Anyway, um, what I liked, uh, first of all, the illustrations I think are excellent. Rachel Renee Russell has got um, a really um, unique and very cool uh, style to her illustrations. And in fact, I've been trying to copy it uh, recently with mine. The second thing I really liked is that Nikki Maxwell is a very relatable character. She's especially relatable to me. I don't think I would have ever described myself as a dork, but perhaps a bit of a nerd. I certainly wasn't interested in hanging out with the so-called CCP. Um, I was a lot more interested in art, music, reading, and having real, you know, true, meaningful friendships um, with, with people that I really liked. So I relate a lot to Nikki's character, but I think she's generally relatable. She does a lot of silly things. She makes a lot of mistakes. She gets tired and frustrated and desperate and embarrassed about stuff. But she comes back from all of that. And I think that that is a really wonderful thing. And, you know, something that, as I say, we can all relate to. The last thing that I really like about this book uh, is that it has a great character arc. This is a difference between where Nikki starts at the start of the book and where she finishes. And that journey is what makes the book interesting. Um, at the beginning, she is starting a new school. She's a bit unsure of herself. She thinks that the way to establish herself in this new school is through friendships with the cute, cool and popular people like Mackenzie. And but over the course of the book, she comes to understand the importance of real, true friendships and realizes that she can establish herself in the school and she can gain respect from people by being who she is and using the, the skills that she has and being cool in her own way. I think that's really, really important. And it's something that I think has become, I don't know if I really succeeded at that in school, but it's something that I really try to encourage now. I try. I always like to uh, give at least one negative, and for me this time it is that this is such a girly cover for a book. I mean, it's got flowers, it's got hearts, it's got pink. Um, I mean, this one in particular, to be fair, is the Super Squee edition. It might be a bit of a struggle, I think, for a lot of boys, especially the boys that I know and that I teach, to read a book like this. And that's a real shame, because it's a great book, boys. You should read it. Can you read it secretly, maybe? So that's a little bit of a shame. I don't think there are boy books and girl books and uh, I, I would really like uh, more boys to read books like Dork Diaries and Dork Diaries in particular. 
Anyway, that's my opinion. Let's have a little extract. 